Hello my YouTube friends. The OBS community is just amazing at providing free solutions for just about anything you want to do with your live stream. Today I want to tell you about seven free tools that I use to make my streams easier to produce and really stand out visually. So let's get to it. My goal on this channel is to help make people better live streamers and entertain a bit in the process. Please take a second and leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, hit that thumbs up. It helps encourage YouTube to share this video with a wider audience. And if you aren't subscribed, please do and click that bell. It helps ensure I keep creating awesome content that helps you and it's totally free. The first tool I want to tell you about is the Shutter Encoder. There's a link in the description to check it out. And this one is a pay what you feel, including free. So if you find yourself using it a lot like I do, be sure to donate at some point so they can keep developing it. And also it helps to ensure that it stays free. The Shutter Encoder is an absolutely fantastic tool that I use all the time. I take my videos and I toss them in there and it easily turns them into WebM format, which is much, much smaller, and it allows your computer to much more easily play them. And the WebM format also allows you to use the alpha channel. So you can take all of your files that you're going to use in your live stream, including your overlay, and use Shutter Encoder to change them into WebM. And it's going to take a whole heck of a lot of pressure off your CPU and make it a much easier stream for your computer to to handle. It's a really, really awesome tool and I highly recommend it. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of assets that can help you with your YouTube channel art and live streaming and video assets. Now my logo was done in Placeit and so was my YouTube banner. Placeit allows you to choose from thousands of designs and then you can change everything about those designs from the color palettes to the text fonts. This gives you an infinite number of possibilities to design your logos, your banners, and nearly anything else you can imagine for your channel or your live streams. So please click the link in the description and check out Envato Place It for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me keep making content that helps you. So thanks. This second tool I use all the time in my streams. The Move Transition is an absolutely epic plugin that allows you to switch scenes, making it look like you're just shifting assets around and changing their sizes and shapes. It really, really is cool. This can add such an unbelievably dynamic look to your stream, even though you're basically reusing the exact same assets and just switching scenes. That is really neat, and you can use this when you're adding guests as well. You can actually even use it as part of a single scene where you can use hotkeys to move your camera or any other asset around the screen and even change its size and shape. Really, really awesome. The move transition is just amazing. This third tool opens up a whole new world of customizations for your live stream visuals. StreamFX is an amazing plugin that I use to give me the opportunity to create all kinds of different looks using the exact same asset. And I do this by using the mirrored source that is included with StreamFX. This allows you to basically create as many replications of the same source as you want and add all kinds of different things. In this case, I'm using it to add multiple different types of masks to my face cam so that my face cam can have all kinds of different shapes. And the only way to do this is to be able to mirror your source. And that is why you use StreamFX. A lot of you have seen me use this next tool in my live streams. It allows you to change out masks and have all sorts of fun with your audience. Snap Camera is an absolutely amazing tool that allows you to use hotkeys to change your face, add all kinds of really awesome masks like this clown one or maybe this bearded one. There are literally 
hundreds of different faces that you can choose from. It's just a heck of a lot of fun to be able to play with these during a live stream. I even use them with voice changers and stuff like that. It's really, really easy to use Snap Camera and there are so many different faces that you can choose from. And some of these are just absolutely incredible like this animation one, there's an alien one, and of course you can use stuff like this one from Pixar. Really, really cool. This one is called the Snap Camera. Number five may be the single best tool I use for my live streams. It's called Twidget, and it allows a whole new level of interaction with your audience chat directly in OBS. Twidget is a tool that will allow you to display chat from your chat right on your live stream. And this works in any of the main live streaming applications, YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. You can also set it up so that it will display your live stream chat right on your live stream as you see here in the top right. And you can even modify these to give them whatever look you want. And there's a nice selection of them just set up right out of the gate. This application is called Twidget and it's also totally free. There's a link to all these free tools as well as links to more in-depth videos I've done about them in the description below. So check that out for yourself if you wanna know more about any of these tools. Number six is Stream Elements. With it, you can add all sorts of custom alerts and overlays to your live stream. Stream Elements is another free application that I use so I can add all kinds of custom widgets and alerts to my live stream. It is really, really easy to set up and use and the amount of things that you can do in Stream Elements is just absolutely amazing. You can see these alerts are easy to set up. You can even create your own custom alerts, very similar to this one right here. And it's a full screen alert. Stream Elements. It's awesome. Number seven is the Win Capture Audio Plugin. The Win Audio Plugin allows you to add in things like Spotify, any YouTube browser page, Discord, or anything else that is an audio source that you would get off your computer. The Win Audio Plugin allows you to add them as completely separate audio sources. So you can have Discord, Spotify, YouTube, a game, or whatever you want, all in complete completely separate audio sources so you can adjust the volume or mute any one of them as you see fit. This simple plugin has been needed for a very long time in OBS and it's finally here. That's the Win Audio plugin and it's really awesome. If you want to see a more in-depth walkthrough of the Win Audio Capture, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.